In today's tutorial, we will learn how to run a PC without hard disk and SSD. Yeah, for this, we will need four things. Number one, a USB 3.0 drive with 32 GB space, a USB 3.0 port for better speed, and a tool. I'll show you further about the tool and a Windows ISO. Now, about the Windows, you can choose whether Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10 and even 11 now the tool name is haslio win to usb that's the tool you can download it from google and if you need a free version you can just let me know on the discord link is given below in the description now all right a usb drive is essential for optimal performance like an ssd having a 3.0 usb port is even better but it's more of an optional upgrade why i'm recommending 3.0 because uh, 3.0 is 10 times faster than 2.0 so that's why we will also need a tool called by Haslio Win2 USB Professional and an ISO file of Windows. You can use any version from Windows 7 up to Windows 11, whichever you prefer. Let's discuss the benefit first and then we will start our tutorial further. Uh, you can access any PC using the USB and you will also have access to any drives present on that system even in hard disks or SSD drives. It's a lifesaver for saving data. Suppose your windows get corrupted and you need to save your data. How will you do it when windows is not putting up? Of course, through this method, when you launch windows via the USB, you can easily retrieve data from your drives. And finally, you can forget the disk space you will save, right? All right, let's dive into this tutorial now. The first thing you need a USB and uh, a tool. Let me show you. All right, now we are back. Uh, I just uh, put the USB in ports. Now you can see here I have a USB which is over here. It's 28.6 GB free space. Uh, actually, it's 32 bit, but it's showing 28.6 GB. Now, let's go into the properties first and format it. If uh, it's better to perform this section first, we can format our USB and make sure select here the file system should be default. And that's it. Once we have done this, now simply you need to open this tool Heslio Win to 60 uh, sorry Win to USB it's a professional version now uh, here you will get three options Win Windows to go USB which is actually install uh, install or clone Windows to a USB so the window that you are using just uh, make uh, a portable version for your USB and the other one if you have ISO you can install it in your uh, USB and the third one is you can also make your USB a bootable pen drive for installation for your hard disk or SSD now we are going with the second option over here now here it saying select installation source where we will choose the windows iso and if you really don't have iso you can download it from microsoft official website from here now after going over here you can just select your windows version like which version you need windows 11 windows 10 and windows 8 we are going uh, here i have my own so let's go back uh, and uh, let me select my iso file i have already downloaded it in g drive it's over here it's windows 10 and then partition scheme it's on you again uh it's about for first select your usb and it's for mbr for bios and uefi so if you um i have if your PC support UEFI, then simply you can go with the GPT for UEFI. Otherwise, if you don't know, you can go with the uh, third option, which is MBR for BIOS and UEFI. It contains um, both formats. Now click on the proceed. Now selected device need to be formatted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, of course. Just click here and it will take a few minutes and your process will be finished 
Now after doing this, simply you need to restart your PC, go into the BIOS. Unfortunately, I can't record the booting process in this video, but I'll explain the method so you know how it's work. After applying these methods, you will need to restart your PC, enter the BIOS and select your USB drive to booting. Now since Windows is installed on the USB, it will function just like an SSD. You don't have to worry, it will boot up swiftly almost like an ssd however each time you boot it will be as if you have just installed windows so you will need to set up your username password password actually it's uh, optional and you are good to go i hope you find this video helpful if you have any question please feel free to let me know in the comment section you can also suggest topic for future videos until then take care goodbye